everybody, it's Pina here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this pretty little butterfly uh, Bible or book cover. Um, it's made of 100% cotton and it's got a book marker which you can just mark your page with it. Um, there you go, you can just mark your page. So this, this book marker, uh, this book cover is um, is for this size Bible, or this book here, this Bible, is five and a half inches wide by nine inches in length. I'm going to show you how to make a bigger one today, a slightly bigger one, but this is the size of this one. If you wanted to make this size, this, this book here or Bible, whichever you've got, is six inches, sorry, let's take the cover off actually. So this is six inches wide and uh, actually five and a half, let's say, five and a half is not quite six, quite five and a half inches wide and by just under nine inches in length. So if you've got a book or a Bible or anything that size, you can have this book cover will fit that. Um, this To make this book cover, you'll need um, you'll need about 22 rows, 21 rows, sorry, 21 rows of each colour. That's what you need. So that will make 63 rows in total. If you're using one colour, it's going to be 63 rows of one colour. But if you're using three different colours, 21 rows of each shade of colour, depending what colour you want. You can use any colour you like, any, co any combination. I've chosen this combination for this size Bible. So um, for this book or Bible, whichever you're using, this is, the, this is the measurements. I'll put that in the description down below in case your Bible is or your book is this size. So I'm going to make a slightly bigger size today. And that's just um, literally just putting more rows into your Bible and um, pretty much the length across this bit here which holds the Bible together with the um, the cover is about two inches or you can make it wider it's up to you entirely up to you if you want a bigger um, a bigger fold which will hold your Bible a bit better you can go a bit more four inches if you want this is a two inch and it's perfectly fine with for this particular one so today I'm going to show you how to make a slightly larger Bible or book cover um, again it's the same principle three colors three colors I'm going to show you what colors I'm going to use but um, 22 rows of um, of each color on the Bible I'm going to show you the book cover I'm going to show you so that book covers having 22 this book covers 21 that's the only difference and um, of course the width of this is width of this um, book cover. I'll just get my tape measure out. Should be 13 inches, about 13 inches. Yes, about 13 inches. And then you add two inches on that side and two inches on the other side. So in total, before you sew the these corners together, um, you should have um, 17 17 inches across all together. The whole strip is 17 inches across, 21 rows of each colour or 63 rows of one colour. And I'll put that in the description box below if you want this me this particular measurement. And today I'm going to show you um, a slightly larger measurement. So this, this one here measures, um, let's get my tape measure. <clears throat> Should be nine and a half inches in length. I don't know if you can see that. That's nine and a half inches in length. And in width, it's about, I'd say, let's say six and a half, six and a half inches in width. Okay. So we're going to make for this size book or Bible uh, cover today. And it's the same principle. I'm going to use three different colors and I'm going to, um, each color will have 22 rows. So that's what I'm going to show you today. And let's get started. I'll show you what yarn I'm using and what colors I'm using. 
Okay, for this project, I'm using these two colours. Now, this is exactly the same uh, yarn that I've used for the smaller book cover. It's exactly the same, just different colours. Um, it's 100% cotton. I don't know if you can see there. DK cotton. And this is in this colour, which is a blue. I'm not sure what colour that is. That's It says colour, and that's the shade. It's kind of numbers, no colour, but just numbers if you want to note that down. And this is like a really nice sort of denim kind of blue. And then I've got a white and that's the, just a plain white colour, but it's in the same make as this one here, which is 100% cotton, both of them. So I'm going to use these two colours throughout the project. And what I'm going to do is do the blue at the bottom, white in the middle, blue at the top. So it's just two colours, but you can use any colour combination you want. You can have three colours, two colours, whatever you want. You can have stripes, it's up to you. Um, but I'm going to follow the measurements for the larger Bible today. Um, so I'm going to just put this aside for a minute. So now you've got your yarn, put that aside. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a darning needle. And you're going to need that four stitch markers, that's to tie your ends and that's just to uh, mark the spots later on. And then you're going to need a crochet needle which is a 3.5 millimeter, as you can see, 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Now I'm using that size crochet hook because I want to give it a tight, uh, a really tight kind of crochet. You, you're supposed to use a four millimeter it says here but I'm using a 3.5 because I want it to be a little bit more tighter and more sturdier. Um, I want the whole thing to be very sturdy because it's for a book cover so I'm going to make it very um, tight and small. Uh, single crochet all the way. The whole project is with single crochet so it's pretty easy and straightforward and then I'll show you how to do the butterfly motif after that. So we're going to do today the nine and a half um, length by the six and a half width book or Bible. So that's what we're doing now. So I'm just going to let's get started. I'm just going to grab my yarn and we're going to chain 110. 110 chains to start as your foundation chain. So we'll do a slip knot onto your hook, pull through the yarn leave a little tail and just tighten it onto your hook. There you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and do 110 and I'll meet you right back. I'll start the first two so you know how to do it. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So you want to be pretty tight with it. Um, you don't want to be too loose with this because this whole project is a pretty tight crochet. The tension's quite tight so I'll do another one to show you. So there you go. As you can see, your three, I've done three, three um, chains here and they're pretty tight. So I'm going to let you do 110 of those and I'll meet you right back. Okay, so I've done 110, 110 chains. As you can see, it's quite long. 110 chains all together and pretty tidy, neat chains you want because this is cotton, so everything shows. So I'm going to start now by inserting my hook into the second chain from the hook. So not this one where your loop is coming out of. You want to go into the second one. So you put your hook into the second one, pull up a, um, the yarn, pull up some more yarn and through two loops. Put your hook in, pull up some yarn, Pull a bit more yarn and through two more. Put your crochet in, crochet hook in, pull up some yarn, pull through two. Crochet hook in, pull up some yarn, crochet through two. So there you go. So you've got your single crochets basically and you need to do all the way through to the very end you need to do. So just keep going. and pretty tight, you want it pretty, you don't want it too loose, 
Um, your tension has to be pretty tight. I know it's it's um, it can be a bit, you know, tedious, but it has to be pretty firm because we want this book cover to be nice and firm. We don't want it to be too floppy. So, so I'm going through. There we go. And it helps if you just um, put your hook in and grab this here. My, you can see where my fingers are, so it holds everything in place. So I'm just going to grab there again and then pull it through so it makes it easier. So this is what you're trying to achieve. And we need to go all the way down. So I'm going, it's going to take a while to get to the other end. So I'll let you get on with that. And I'll meet you at the other end to finish to finish off this round. Okay, so I've done all my single crochets on this very long strip, as you can see, and I'm about to do my last one. So I'm just gonna insert my hook into that last one here. Pull up a yarn and pull through two. That's the end of this first row, as we're not counting the foundation chain row as a row. So starting from that, that's your first row of single crochets, and you need to do 22 all together. So I'm just going to start off the next round for you, and then let you get on with the 22 rows of exactly the same thing until you change, You um, after that we'll change in colour. But you may not want to change the colour, you may want to continue on, so it's entirely up to you, but I'll show you how to do the colour change anyway. So at this point, we're going to chain one and turn your work. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start into this space, this stitch here, the very first single crochet just there. I don't know if you can see, just there, just there. So we're going to put our, our hook right into there. and do a single crochet because you want to get this up the sides very very straight so you need to do a chain uh, chain one and turn your work on every round just make sure to do that and to go into this very very first stitch here to make sure that the edges will come up really straight so we're going to go into the next stitch and do a single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next single crochet single crochet single crochet so if I just take my hook out and show you so that's that's how it looks okay so go all the way down to the very end when you get to the end you need to chain one and turn your work and make sure you go to the very, very end stitch. Don't miss this one here, this very, very end single crochet. You need to go into that one just there. So make sure you go into the very end um, just there. I'll show you. So you don't want to miss that one either. It's quite a tight stitch, but you can get in there. So once you've got into that stitch, there you go. Make sure you do a single crochet into that very last one as well. So I'll meet you at the other the other end and then you'll do a single crochet and you'll start all over again going back this way. Okay, I'm now at the end of my second row. Now it looks a bit curly-whirly at the minute, <laughs> but don't worry because that straightens up as you do more rows and it gets really straight and firm and solid. So no need to worry about that. Um, now I'm at the end here now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my hook into that very last stitch which I showed you, um, not to miss that one. So I'm going to put my hook into there and there we go, pull up a yarn and pull through two. That's the, that's the last of that second round. Of course you chain one again and you turn your work and you can continue all the way down to the other side and that's going to take a bit of time. So. I've done two rows, there's another 20 to do, and if you've done two, uh, another 20 rows, in total 22 of this colour. 
and then we start changing the into the next color and I'll show you how to do that when you've reached your 22 rows in total of this color. But if you don't want to change color, you can you can just carry on with the same color and uh, you need 62, sorry, 66 rows of this color to be the length that you want for that large book or Bible. So you need, you need 66 rows in total of this one color if you're going to use the one color or any color that you wish to use. So carry on doing all those um, rows that I've told you. Um, if you're changing color, I'll meet you back in a, in a minute when you've done all those rows. Okay, so I finished my 22 rows in the blue. As you can see, it's a real neat, firm strip. Very firm and sturdy. So that's what you want for your book cover. You want something firm, sturdy and really neat. So, um, and as you can see, the edges are, are neat too. You've got this straight edging. And, and then you've got on this side the same again. Just untangle that. Straight edging. You can see that. So now we're going to change colour. So I'm just going to grab my hook, put my loop on the hook, and this is my last, very last, if you can see there, stitch. I'm going to put my hook into there. I'm going to draw up a loop of the blue. So you've got two, two on the hook, and I'm going to cut this yarn off now because we're going to change colour. So I'm going to leave an adequate amount there and bring in my white. So for this bit, I'm going to grab our white yarn and we're going to just pull up a loop and pull the loop. If you grab your, your yarn, the white one, get your hook onto it and pull through. You want to leave a bit of a tail end. You want to leave a bit, just a bit of a tail end because you're going to sew them in afterwards and you're going to draw up this yarn into the two loops on your hook, like so. There you go. So that, now you need to pull everything together, just tug everything so it's all tightened up together. Let's just get this in the right perspective. Right, so I'm just gonna give it a tug. There we are. You've got all these yarns and hanging out, but don't worry because you'll be I'm just going to trim that off a little bit. Right. OK, so that's your tail ends there. Leave them in for now. Leave them there for now. And then that's your main yarn here. So this is your main white yarn coming through. There you go. That's the one you're going to use. That's your working yarn. So again, make sure everything's tight and pull tight here. So as you can see, so it's all pulled tight. Sorry. There you go. Pull these two strands, pull the third strand, pull all these strands together so you get a nice tight, um, nice tight thing in there. So now what we're going to do, we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. So leave these yarn ends at the side. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the very first stitch just there, if you can see. So I'm going to put my hook into there, draw up a Draw up the yarn, two loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through those two. So now you've got your, um, you get your, your, your first white stitch into your, into your um, blue. So now we're going into the next stitch, pull up, pull up a loop, pull through the yarn, pull through two and you should have, there you go, that's your your first row of the white colour. So keep going until you go right to the bottom. I'm just going to do a few here so you can see how it's done. There we go. Take my hook out and then you can see so now that's what you want you want a nice sort of neat clean edge as well so you've got your edge matching with the with the edge of the blue and all these 
ends will be tied in anyway, so don't worry about that. And then we're going to go all the way across, all the way this way, to the very end, um, until you get to the very end, and I'll, and I'll show you what to do next. I'll just do a few more just to show you how it looks. single crochet all the way there we are so that's your white color incorporated with the blue you've just added your white color into the blue all right so go ahead and do the whole of this white row until the very end and I'll show you what to do when you get to this end with the white yarn Okay, so I've come to the end of this first round of the white colour or any colour that you happen to be using. I've got two more stitches there. I'm just going to put my hook in and do the last two single crochets. So I just want to show you how it looks. So that's your first row of the white or any colour uh, that you're using. And this is the other side. You can use any side. It's both, they're both you know both very similar so you can use any side you want for your cover to be on you know the outer bit of the cover so I'm just going to show you how to start the next round of white and then I'll let you get on with 22 rounds of white until you meet at the other end for the next color and I'll show you how to join um, the blue again um, or whatever color you're going to use now um, I've done the first row, so there's another 21 to do because we need 22 again of the white. So we're going to chain one at the very end and turn our work. And then we're going to put our hook into the very first, which is just there, single crochet. We're going to put a hook into there and grab, up, grab the yarn, pull through the first two loops. Uh, hook into the second one, single crochet and pull through. So then we go to the next single crochet, pull through two. Now that's how it's going to look for the second round. So it all matches and it all ties in with the side of the blue. So go ahead and um, let's take this fluff off. Go ahead and do the next 20 21 rows because I've done one row uh, 21 rows 22 in total of the white um, and I'll meet you back when you've finished that color okay so I've done all my rows in blue and white and depending I just wanted to add depending on how tight your your crochet is I mean if you're doing it very tight you might need more rows of each color um, <clears throat> I've made this extremely tight so I've added an extra row of blue and the uh, the blue and the white is an extra row. So it's up to you entirely how you how tight you crochet. If it's looser, you'll need less rows. Um, if it's tighter, you'll need more rows of each color. But it has to all add up to this um, the book size. I'll show you. <clears throat> so I'm just going to put that onto the book so you can see. So if we just take these ends off and wrap it round our book, because you're going to allow a little bit for your turning in bit. And, and then for this bit, we're going to just wrap it round like that. And I'm just going to tuck that in for now, just to show you. Right. <clears throat> so there's your book. Now I'm going to, you need to leave it a little bit down so that you could sew this bit. You need the space for that as well. So make sure it's right to the edge, the blue colour. And now you've got your, um, <clears throat> you've covered your book partially. And we're going to measure. So this should be about just three and a Three and just under three and a half about there and then that should be the same and that's the same as well so you need the same three and a bit 
on that on the blue on this side so it all matches up perfectly <clears throat> so of course you know judge by your um as you're doing the rows on this one and that one um also measure what's left uh you may need to do an extra row of the white to balance everything out but it's you know it's all about how you crochet if you crochet really tight like this is really tight at the moment so you just add an extra row or two um of each color but if you're quite loose at crocheting, then I'd say 22 rows each colour would be fine. Right, so let's just take you into the next stage. So I'll just take this off. And I'm going to show you now the colour blue. That's uh, how to attach the colour blue. So, so now you've just finished off. I'm going to just take back one stitch and put my hook in to the loop okay so for this we're just going to again as we did before put a hook into the last stitch pull up the white loop and we're going to cut that off now I'm just going to cut that off and draw up get your um, blue yarn there's the blue and we're just going to thread that through the two loops like that. Okay, pull everything tight. Just going to pull that all tight so that it's secure. Once it's secure enough and you feel that's ready, just do a, a chain. Chain one. And then you can start turning your work and <clears throat> go into your very first single crochet which is just here don't miss that one out remember to do the very first one here so we're going into there and do a single crochet and then just pull everything tight there we go so that's your very first <clears throat> stitch of the blue and continue all the way along into the rest of the stitches all the way along. I'll just do a few for you to see. So that's single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. I'll just show you that. So there you are. There's your third colour. Um, <clears throat> third colour, which is the blue or whatever colour you're using. So go ahead and do as many rows as you, you need to do for your book. 22 if you're loosely crocheting or 23 or 24 if you find that you're really tightly crocheting and you need extra rows. So make sure you measure against your book cover and when you've done all of that, when you've done the next lot of uh, the blue, the blue rows, uh, I'll meet you back here again to show you what to do next. OK, now that you've done all your rows of um, two, three colours or plain colour, whatever colour you want, um, just measure it up against your book. Make sure that it's fitting OK. So I'm just going to put that on my book. And... You want to fold in the edges like that. Just roughly fold them for now, just to see if the, the um, rows are long enough. So there we go. So as long as you're, it's covering top and bottom of your book and you can see there's no edges showing through um there you go so that's just about the right size just about the right size for this book and now what we're going to do is we're going to start sewing the two inches inside your book cover or whatever how many inches you're going to have it i'm going to just measure equal amounts on either side so if i just open my book i can tell roughly okay so this should be about, 
about two inches, I would say. About two inches inside and two inches on the other side. So I'm just going to measure two inches and then I'm going to put a stitch marker into it just to sort of see how fit, how it fits. So two inches, let's just measure two inches. That's two inches. So we're going to put a stitch marker just there. Oops. Okay, so you put your stitch marker and I'm going to measure two inches down the bottom. So that's two inches there as well. Probably two inches. Yeah. Okay. So let's put a stitch marker in. Just to give you an idea where your fold's gonna going to be. So Let's do that on the other side, two inches. So that's two, about two inches there. Let's put your stitch marker in. And then two inches at the bottom, just here. two inches so I'm going to put my stitch marker on there as well oops Let's measure that again because you want it to be equal to the top and to the bottom so I'm just going to put my stitch marker into that spot as well okay so I'm going to try it on my book now just to see if it's giving it a snug fit that on the book and then the other side All right and that appears to be a good snug fit I'm just gonna make sure it's okay Yes, that's a good snug fit. So <clears throat> now that you've got that really nice snug fit and it, and it holds onto the Bible really well, you're going, we're going to start stitching the seams, the four seams on four sides. So I'm gonna show you how to do that one. So take your book cover off again and let's start sewing. Okay. So we're going to now stitch the corn, these edges up. Um, I'm going to take the stitch marker off for now. And I'm going to just actually pop it further down so I can keep that in place for a moment. So now what I'm going to do is, because we haven't um, tied off yet, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this through the last loop. And we're going to tie off, we're going to leave a bit of an end like I don't know, just not as enough to sew that bit up. So I'm just gonna snip that off. It might be a bit longer, but it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to, there we go. So now what we're going to do, I'm gonna thread our needle with this last end. In fact, it might be too long. If it's too long, just snip it off a bit more. Okay, that's that's enough. You, you don't need too much to um, to sew this little bit. So put your needle on to your thread or your yarn and we're going to do like a whip stitch and I don't know if you can see but we've got our our V's here of our single crochets and what we need to do is we need to grab both both sides of both both sides of both V's so if you just put your needle in to the first 
first V and the, and the other side, so both sides, and pull through, making sure the yarn is pulled through, there you go. So you've now sort of pinned that down, that, that side. Now we want to start going over to the other side and going into the two Vs from this side and from the other side, as you can see. Put your needle right in, just pull through. And then again, the next V, pull through the next V opposite. So you want both loops of the V on both sides. You want both, not just the inner bit or the outer loop. You don't want the back loop or the front loop. You want both loops on both sides. So grab, put the needle through and grab both sides again like this and just pull through. So you've got like a whip stitch, which won't show because um, it's going to be blended in with the crochet. So again, next stitch, go through the two Vs, two Vs and pull through. There you go. And then the next one, pull through. Right, tighten it up a little bit, there you go. And the next one, two Vs on both sides, pull through. So you've got this neat kind of edging. Okay, so again, pull through the two Vs on both sides. Be careful not to miss a, a one of these stitches. You go through every single one of these V stitches. So that's that one. Now we're going to go into the next one, which is, I think it's this one here. Careful you don't go, you can go into the same one, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go into the next one, which is here, through two Vs and pull through. Pull through two Vs, pull through. Pull through these two Vs, pull through, and then the last, you probably won't see it too well because it's hidden, there's another V just there and a V just there and I'm going to just put, pull through them too and tighten it up and you might want to do one last one or you can just literally just go into it inside like this, take your stitch marker off and thread your needle inside, bring the yarn inside, there you go. So you've got your neat corner there, as you can see, pretty, pretty neat corner. So, and then what you do is you sew in your ends, just turn it inside out and you can just sew your end anywhere really, you can just thread it through like this. Thread it through wherever you find a space to thread it through, like so. Just thread it through there. And I'm going to head backwards, thread it backwards, turn it round, and there you go. Just go back, back into your your stitches again. Make it secure as you could, as you can. And I think that's that should be enough. That should be actually enough. So what you do is just snip that off like so. Turn it back the other way. And there you are. There you have it. You've got your wonderful corner square. So it's nice. It's a nice corner there for your book to go in. Now, on the opposite side, you will again want to do the same thing. So making sure that is two inches wide. You can use this uh, bit of yarn, the tail end that's hanging. That might be just enough. I can try using that one to see if it's enough. If it's too short, you can use a spare, spare bit of yarn. But I'm gonna try and use this one. 
Uh, right, so I'm just going to make sure that is two inches. Yes, that is. So what we do here, I'm just going to take the stitch marker out and place it further down just to give it that hold while I'm working into it. So I've placed it just there to keep it neat and I'm going to now do the same thing on this side. So we're going to whip stitch if you want to call it that whip stitch or in fact you can do it this way it doesn't it doesn't really matter which way you do it so I'll start this way so just grab any bit of yarn that you see because here we haven't got the um, V's because this is the very first foundation chain that we did so you just use your your own initiative and just put your hook where you think it could it could go just it doesn't really matter really as long as you do it neatly so I'm just going to put my hook in, my uh, needle rather, into a space, if you can see there. I'm going to grab a bit of yarn and just, oops, the needle's come out. Okay. All right, let's start. So into a space from the other side and into the space from this side. And just sew it up and again into any loop from this side or any space and then pull it through any space pull it through any space and pull it through any space that you see Pick up and pull through, and again, same thing, pull through, pull through, pull through, and then the last bit, pull through. So now I've done that secured that. Let's just take our stitch marker off. I'm going to put my thread into the, the inside bit. There we go. Pull that through and then you can just turn it through like this and sew it just sort of underneath any stitch that you see. Just thread it through like this. Going to go back that way so it kind of secures it. There we go. There we go. A bit more just to give it the extra security. That's it. I'm going to just snip that bit off. Wonderful. Okay, so now turn this inside out again. And there you've got it. There you've got your first um, side um, sewn in. Now, you need to do exactly the same on this side. Exactly the same as what you did on that side. Go ahead and do it on this side. And then I'll show you how to tie in your ends to neaten it up. And then we'll put the butterfly motif. We'll, we'll show you that one as well. I forgot to mention, when you do this side, you need to just put a new strand because there won't be any loose ends for you to tie to use like this side but you need to put a new bit of thread onto your um, needle and just literally just start with a new thread when you do this side okay now that you've sewn in the ends um, you've sewed all four corners and you've sewed and you've sewed your tail ends in as well on the corners we're going to do these side bits where the color was joined and we're going to sew them in as well and I'll show you how to do that. So basically, we're going to start this end and on the inside, 
not on the outside bit but on the from the inside we're going to sew the ends in so just get your sort of needle onto your yarn and we're going to just literally just try and hide this somewhere in there so that's starting with the white uh, just get your needle right in So you can see you're getting the neat, getting it nice and neat from the inside. I'm just going to get all the way through until you feel it's secure enough. And it doesn't show on the other side. So I'm just gonna go back down again this way. down again and back down there we go okay once you feel that's secure enough just give it a snip and then we're going to start with the the other color as well uh, just thread the needle Okay, so again, similar kind of fashion, you just put your yarn in wherever the blue, not on the white side, but on the blue side, put your yarn in and just follow the line all the way, pull through, make sure it's not pulling too much, you want it to be neat, so just literally just keep going until you feel it's secure again I'm going to go into this side so it's more more to grab Once you feel it's secure enough, you can then trim it off. I'm just going to go back down this way again, onto the blue. So it's nice and secure. Right, I think that's enough. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to snip that off, like so. So as you can see, you've got a nice clean, clean edge there and a clean edge from the other side. So I've got a clean edge this side as well. Now go ahead and do exactly the same, because this is the same as the other side, exactly the same on this side as you did the, to the other side, and I'll meet you right back. Okay, now that you've done all your tying in the ends, we're gonna try the, Bible, the book or the Bible into the cover, see how it fits. So I'm just going to slot that into the, the fold. That's one fold. And then we'll put it into the, the other one, like so. Right. So, okie dokie, so that looks like it fits just right, I'm just going to, there we go, there we go, so that's your Bible book cover finished at the moment without the butter butterfly motif. You could leave it just like that, or you could add the butterfly motif on, onto it. It's entirely up to you. So this is, this is how it looks from the inside. 
and that's what holds it all together. Okay, so now that you've done your book cover, um, I'm going to show you how to make the little uh, butterfly motifs. I've got like different variations, different colours. This one here is the blue and blue and white mix, and then you've got the alternative colours um, of the to match the uh, book cover. So I've got these two colours, and I've got plain, just a plain blue one or plain white. If you wanted a plain colour, you could have a plain colour or you could have a um, mixed coloured one, like these two. So I'm going to show you how to make uh, the mixed colour, and the same principle applies for a plain colour, but you just don't add the middle bit, you just you just do it the same colour as the rest of the, pet, uh, the wings, the butterfly wings. So I'll show you how to make that. Okay, let's grab your centre colour yarn. I'm going to use blue in the middle, and I'm going to use the white for the wings. Um, so what we do first of all, how we start this is we do a magic ring. So to do a magic ring, um, you just get the yarn, wrap it over your two fingers, pull over again with this yarn. So you've got a kind of a cross shape. There you go, hold it there, get your hook and stick your hook through, grab that yarn, that bit of yarn as you've got a loop there. Now slowly, slowly take this off your finger or fingers. So you've got this kind of loop and a big loop at the bottom, if you can see. Now what you need to do, just hold that with your, thing, with your thumb and this finger and grab the yarn and lock that magic ring into place. So you've got a magic ring now totally in place. Now you, need, you can pull that a little bit, but not too too much because we're going to work into that ring. And um, for this, we're going to start with a chain three, which, which counts as a double crochet US terms. Um, so what we're doing here now, uh, we're going to uh, chain three. So grab your magic ring here, hold onto that magic ring so it gives you that tautness and do three um, uh, uh, chains. One, two, three. There you go. That's your three chains to start with. So now we're going to do a, um, we're going to do a combination of double crochets. So this is your first double crochet. Yarn over, put your hook through the magic ring, pull up a loop, Yarn, yarn, pull through two and pull through two again. That's your second double crochet. Chain two, one, two. Okay, so that these this is classed as a, as a double crochet and that's your second one, so that's two. Chain two and then again into the magic ring. I'm just going to pull that a little bit. Um, yarn over and another two double crochets. That's one, two. So you've got two double crochets into the into the magic ring and you've got these two here with a chain two in the middle. So chain two again, double crochet, double crochet again, just pull up the yarn, sorry, chain two, double crochet, one, two, chain two, double crochet, one, and two. Now I'm going to pull this a little bit tighter. As you go along, you can pull your magic ring with this cord here to get it smaller so it's easier to work into, but not too small because you still need that space. So we've done our last two double crochets there. We're going to do another two, chain two and another two double crochets into there. One, two. Now we need eight of these uh, sort of groups of twos of two uh, double crochets. You need eight of the, those groups of two. So you, 
there's one that's I'll count that for you so basically that's counted as one group of two that's two that's three that's four that's five and that's six now you need to do another two so you need eight in total so I'll put my hook back in chain two one two and just shift that over a little bit and another two double crochets into that magic ring again one two chain two and another two in there so that's one two okay so you should have eight of these so let's just count that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right, that's right. So now we're going to chain two again. One, two. Okay. And we're going to we're gonna we're gonna slip stitch into the third chain uh from from the from the three chain that you did at the beginning, the third one, the top top chain. We're going to slip stitch into that, so that's just there. I'm going to put my hook into there and do a slip stitch. So there you go. Right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this really tight. There we go. So you've got your first bit, the centre bit of your butterfly, that bit there. So that's the centre bit. Now I'm going to cut this off, cut this yarn off, tie off now. So just take, pull through the loop and then just snip it off. So that's your center color done. So I'm just gonna pull that tight. All right, there you go. So make sure you've got eight of those with two chains in, in between. And then that's your middle bit done. So put that aside for a moment. I'm just gonna get the white yarn. And for this bit, we are going to start by ins inserting the white um, yarn into, not the chain two spaces, you don't want to put the yarn into there, you want to put the yarn into between one of these two double crochets, you need to put the yarn in, in between there. So I'm going to put the yarn just there, in between there, if you can see. Grab the yarn with your hook, pull it through, and I'm going to do a chain to, to hold that in, chain there. Okay, now I'm going to just keep that yarn, uh, this is how I tie in the, the colour. You can do it any way you want, you can, you can literally just tie it in, make a knot, or just do it the way I did it. But I hold this because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sort of um, crochet that into the work. So. Now for this bit, um, we're going to do six double crochets into this two chain space here. We're gonna do six. So yarn over, put your hook in, making sure you've got that um, tail end sandwiched in, in the middle. And you're going to do a double crochet. So that's one double crochet. That's two double crochet. That's three double crochet. That's four double crochet, five, and six. So just give that a little tug, there we go. So at six double crochets into this uh, two chain space. Now in between the next double, uh, two double crochets, you're going to do a single crochet. So I'm going to stick my hook just there and do a single crochet. So that pins everything down. So again, into the next two chain space, you want to do another six um, double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five and one more six six there you go that's six into there so now what we're going to do is again we're going to do the same again we're going to put our hook into this 
stitch just between the two double crochets and put a hook there and do a single crochet. Okay, now into the next two chain space here, again, making sure your tail ends are sort of woven into it, uh, we're going to do another six. So yarn over and put your hook in and do six double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, and one more, six. And then into this space here, you want to do a single crochet. Just going to pull that side. Just put your, insert your hook into there and do a single crochet. Right, there we are. So now we go into just do the same again all the way round until I meet you just before you do your last cluster of six um, double crochets. When you get to that stage, I'll meet you there. Just carry on as the same as what you did here all the way round. Okay, so now I've reached my last uh, chain two space and into that space we're going to do, I've done my single crochet into that one and then I'm going to do six double crochets into the last one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now it looks a bit curly whirly at the moment, as you can see, that's the whole aim of it. So it's not going to be perfectly flat, but that's fine. That's exactly what you want. And um, we're going to slip stitch now into this very first chain here that I've done. I'm just going to put my hook into there. There we go. And just slip stitch. And there we go. Now we're not going to tie off yet because we're going to assemble this now because it um, should have eight petals. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got eight there. So now we're going to assemble it. So we're going to leave this bit at the top and making sure it's the tie your ends in obviously beforehand. And make sure you tie your ends in. I'm going to tie my end in now so that get that out of the way. Um, I don't have any ends, you know, falling everywhere. So I'm just going to tie my, sew my ends in at the back here. Right. Okay, so I'm just going to trim that off because we don't want that bit. So I'll just trim that off. And now, going back to this, we need to fold this the right side. Keeping this on the top, we need to fold this um, in half. So, if you just, there we go, half. So you've got four, four petals on this side and four on that side, like a sandwich. So it's all kind of sandwiched and it, and it fits really nicely. It falls into place, as you can see. Now, we're going to now do this last bit put your hook into the thing now you go into chain 10 we're going to chain 10 so one two two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's ten chain ten then you're going to wrap this round your work so you need to wrap it in the centre of the butterfly, like that, and all the way round to the back of the butterfly. Tighten it up, put your hook in, hook back in, 
okay now what you're going to do now is you're going to find a little the last chain just about there and just put your hook in like that okay that's the last or well, the very first chain I should say not last chain so very first chain at the bottom of this butterfly you just stick your hook into it like this there you go grab your yarn pull it through the two and that's your it's locked into place as you can see now what we need to do now if you're going to make it as a book marker then um, you need to do as many chains as you need to go uh, down down your book um, as long as you you need it but um, if you don't want to use it as a book marker you just just um, yarn over pull through and then tie off Now leave enough um, of this so that you can sew that onto your book like this. So it looks like this. So you'll need enough yarn so that you can sew it onto there. So leave a bit of a tail end so you can sew it onto your book. So if that's for the book, then leave a small tail end and sew it onto your book. Now, if you want it as the book marker, depending on how long you want it I'm going to show you that off in a minute um, this is pretty long chain here um, and I'm going to show you how, how long to put your to do your chain so that you've got enough to hang out of your book um, so basically you'll need two of these butterflies you can have alternative colors one for the book marker one for the center panel of your book or you can have plain coloured ones. It's up to you, entirely up to you, what colours you choose to have um, for your bookmarker and for the butterfly that's on the book. Just one final touch to your butterfly. You don't have to put them on, but you can put them on little antennas. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You can grab a bit of yarn, any colour. You can have blue or white, whichever colour you want for your antennas. So I'm just going to do, get a grab a bit of yarn Give it a little knot on one side, like this. It's a little knot. Then I'm going to grab the other side of the yarn, thread it through my needle, like so. And then, as you can see the butterflies, the top part of the butterfly, you need to just thread that yarn to the other side, like this. Okay, take your needle out. Now, I'm going to go about, you don't have to be too long with the antennas, about that sort of um, length. And I'm going to cut my top off here, just here, as you can see. Don't want it too long, just to give a little, there you go. So that's the top of the antenna. So I need to have the other side exactly the same. So I'm going to sort of judge roughly how big uh, the knot's going to be, or where the knot's going to be rather. So I'm just going to tie that like this and make a knot on the other side for the antenna. Now, just you can have them as long as you want, as short as you want. I'm just going to judge how these two are going to be. I'm going to make a little knot on the other side as well. About there, I would say. Yeah, about there. So snip off the top of that again just going to tighten that up that's it snip it up a little bit more there you go so you have two antennas for your butterfly as well and do that to all your to the other butterfly if you want or you can have it without it's it's entirely up to you but that gives it a finishing touch to your butterfly okay so I'm going to start by making the um, bookmarker one butterfly. Now for this, you put your your hook into your last um, uh, loop that you've made when you've attached the body to the butterfly. And we're going to chain now from there, as we slip stitch into the last or the first stitch, we're going to chain on from there. So what you'll need is your your book and your book cover and you need to work out how long you want to have this 
chain to go. So I'm going to start chaining as much as I can and see how how it fits and how much it hangs out of the Bible. So that's or the book. That's the only way you're going to work it out. So I'm going to chain. So I'm going to chain. I'm going to chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Now that's still not quite long enough because you need it to you need it to hang out a little bit more and you need a little bit, allow a little bit to sew it in as well into the book cover. So that's 50 so far and I'm going to continue going on until I get the length that I, I'm looking for. So that's 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So I'm just going to check and see if that's pretty much okay. Uh, just take my, that's 60 chains so far. So if we just measure it like this, because it's got to hang from outside. You're going to attach it to your book cover and it's got to hang a little bit outside. You need to see your butterfly um, a bit like this one here. If I show you the other one. So it's got to hang. This one's hanging quite long. So it depends how long you want it to hang out. I'm going to hang out a little bit longer than that. I'm going to go for about maybe 70. So I'll chain a few more. So that's 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Let's have a look now. I think that's just about okay now. I think that's fine. And then what you do is, um, let's just double check. I think I'm gonna go 65, not 70. So I'm gonna take five chains off. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five chains off. So I've got 65 now. That should be enough to, yeah, that should be perfect. That's perfect. So then you've got your it's not hanging too much. So I'm now going to finish off this. I'm going to pull up a loop and just, we're going to cut a length enough to sew it, sew it into the book cover. So that should be enough. Um, so just give that a little snip. So there you are. You have this bit here now to sew in to the book cover. So let's get started and, sh and sew that bit in. So I'm just gonna take my book cover off. Now you need it in the center. So I'm just gonna show you where you need it. You need it sort of there. So I'm gonna put a marker there so we can see before I actually take my cover off. Let's put that back on again just to check it's in the right position. So book covers on let's just check yeah it's so your where your marker is is where your um, book marker is going to be so I'm going to just put it there that's just pretty much in the center as you can see it's just there in the center so I'm just going to mark that off okay so now we can take our book cover off and let's get our needle and put our yarn through. Now you can always, I mean, it doesn't matter so much because it's going to be inside. So even if it's a different color yarn, it won't show. 
So I'm going to literally just sew that in about, I would say, about here. We'll just put our needle in there. Make sure it doesn't show on the other side. You don't want any yarn, different colour yarn showing. So there you go. I'm just going to sew that in. So you won't need many stitches. All you'll need is, put it that way, all you'll need is that much to sew it in. Do it a few rounds if you feel like you need to. That's it, that seems secure enough. So now that you've done that, what you need to do now is just, you need to thread it through because um, you've got the ends here to show. So I'm gonna thread it through somewhere around the back, let's say. Somewhere around here would be fine. I'm going to take this stitch marker off. So make sure you secure this really well because you need to, it, it, you know, we don't want it dropping off. So I'm just going to put it in just there. There we go. And then back in again into there. Okay, so once you feel that's secure, give it a snip. Okay, so that's your, your book marker stitched onto the cover. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to put the, the other butterfly. Now you can have alternative colours, you know, you can even put, if you wanted a white butterfly onto the... Um, onto the panel, you can do that onto the center panel. Or if you want to contrast it, you could put a different color. Now I'm gonna go for this color. I'm just going to see where to put it. So you can put it anywhere you want. You can put it this way, you can put it that way, put it in the middle, you can put it anywhere you want. But I'm gonna put it this way. I prefer it that way, at a slant. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna put it in that position just there. So for this, we'll need to sew that in. So get your ends again. And make sure you have left a, tail, a long tail end on the, each butterfly when you make them so that they're easier to sew on. So I'm just going to grab my yarn, pop it through. This is actually a bit too long, so I'm gonna snip it off a little bit. Okay. So now what you do for this bit um, is work out which side you want to use, which is the prettier side. I think this is the prettier side. So I'm going to use that side. So get your needle and thread and just because you're going to go into the back of the butterfly. So what we're going to do, we're just going to work our way into the inside, into the back from the inside into the back of the butterfly just there and just bring up your thread there you go you see so now you've got your thread in the right position to sew it into the um to the to the book cover so i want it round about round about there would be fine so i'm just going to grab hold on to the butterfly check at the back right so what we're going to do is Hold the butterfly in position and put the, you can see, just behind there where the butterfly, where the butterfly's back is going to be, where exactly you want it, just position it. So I'm just going to thread that through to the other side. So there you have your butterfly in the right position. Okay, so now for this bit, we're just going to literally just sew this butterfly into the back of the, um, just make sure it's in the center. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna sew this butterfly into the back 
So I'm going to give it a few stitches. So first of all, I'm just going to grab a bit of the white that's there. Catch that. Just make sure that butterfly is in place. Just give it a tug. You want the butterfly to stay in place. So you don't need too many stitches to put this butterfly in place. You may want to go back in like this and grab a bit more of the butterfly from behind. If you can see, I might just grab a tiny bit more of the, um, the butterfly. And then once you've done that, you can go back in. Oops. And you can just tug at it a little bit more, make sure it's secure. Let's put my needle back in. Right, so let's have a look if that is um, secure enough. I feel it's pretty much secure now. Yes, that's pretty much secure. So now that your butterfly is secure and, you, and you've gone in as, mon as many times as you want to, um, you don't want to go too mad because you don't want any big bulgy knotted bits at the back in inside or even though it's not going to show but you don't really want that so I'm gonna now just insert my needle just into there just grab a little bit more and just It doesn't really matter so much because, as I said, it's not going to show. It's going to be on the inside. So you don't have to worry too much about that as long as it's secure. So I'm going to go in one more time just like that and then I'm going to tie off. There you go. So that's, that's done. Okay, so now that you've got your two butterflies onto your book cover you've got that one there that's just for the bookmarker and that is the butterfly the three-dimensional butterfly on your book I'm going to pop my book my book inside so here we go let's have a look let's try it for size let's take these things away right And there you have it. There's your butterfly. Just give that a little maneuver around the book. And there's your butterfly book cover. That's the back. And that's the front. That's your butterfly book cover. So there it is. So when you open your, your book, you just grab this and go into any page and just put the marker down the, down the middle, close your book. And there you are, you have another butterfly just there. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you managed to make one of these book covers. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and click on the notification bell for any more of these crochet videos. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye for now.